Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to MemberPress rules, what they can do for your site, and go over all the different rule types you have available to use. Rules are a feature of MemberPress that allows you to restrict access to specific content on your site. For example, you could set up a rule to allow access to a specific page of your site to only those who have a membership. Or you can restrict access to an exclusive article, for example, to only your top tier membership level. So let's jump in. From your WordPress dashboard, go into MemberPress and Rules. On this page, you'll be able to edit any rule you have set up on your site or add new ones. To add a new rule, I'm going to click Add New. Here, you'll be able to set what type of rule you're creating, or in other words, what type of content you're protecting, and who gets access to the content. The first text box you see here will give a name to your rule. It'll auto-populate with the type of rule that you'll set up below. Here, under Content and Access, you'll begin creating your rule. This dropdown under Protected Content will display the many types of rules MemberPress offers to restrict access to your content. This selects the content on your site that'll be protected by this rule. So the first option you'll see is All Content. This will simply protect your entire site. We don't recommend using this rule unless you think it's absolutely necessary for your needs because you have far more customization with the many other rule types here. If, however, you do feel that it's necessary for you to use the All Content rule, we recommend that you exclude your login page, registration pages, and any other page you want users to be able to access regardless of their membership type, such as the MemberPress account page. The account page is where your members can manage their payment methods, plan, and more. We recommend excluding the account page from any rule because it is by default inaccessible to non-logged in visitors of your website. If you protect that page additionally, once a member subscription expires, they won't be able to access the account page in order to update their credit card details, for example. That'll just create more work for you, and it won't really contribute to data protection in any way. You can exclude pages from this rule by entering their page IDs here. You can get the page ID of the pages you'd like to exclude by going to Pages on the left sidebar of WordPress, clicking on the page you'd like to exclude, and copying this number here next to Post Equals in the URL. Then, back in the Rule Setup page, paste them here, separated by commas. You do need the page IDs for this to work, so you won't be able to simply type the name of the page or anything like that. Now, let's look at some of the other types of rules that we have. The next rule type you'll see is All Content Categorized. This will allow you to protect all content under a specific category on WordPress, which applies to posts. So if you go to Posts on the left sidebar, you can see the categories your posts have applied to them. And if I click on a specific post, here on the right I can modify which categories are applied to it. The next rule is All Content Tagged, which restricts access to any content with a specific tag applied to it. So, once All Content Tagged is selected, you'd start typing the name of the tag here and click which tag you want to use. MemberPress works with most tagging plugins if tagging isn't already built into your theme. The next two options you'll see here are All Content with Course Categories and All Content with Course Tag. These are similar to the rule types we just went over, but only apply to categories and tags set up in the MemberPress Courses add-on. If I go to MemberPress, Courses, and click on one of my courses I have set up, you can see here I can add both categories and tags to each individual course. The next rule is All Posts. This will protect either all posts on your site or all posts except the ones you indicate using post IDs here. A single post lets you protect an individual post on your site. Again, you can begin typing the name of your post and select it here. Post Categorized and Post Tagged will let you protect posts with specific categories and tags. Just a side note, you can't select more than one category or tag with these rules, so to protect content across various categories and tags, you'll need to set up more than one rule in MemberPress. You can also protect all pages and a single page as well. The next option is Child Pages Of. This lets you select all child pages of a specific parent page which you can select here. You could set parent pages in the Page Attributes section when you create or edit your pages. This child pages of rule works regardless of whether or not the parent page itself is protected. Next, you'll see the same types of rules for MemberPress groups. Here, you see options for all groups, a single group, and child groups of. These will restrict access to a particular group pricing page. 
Next, you have all lessons and a single lesson, which can be used to protect lessons inside of a course in MemberPress courses. You can select all lessons and add exceptions here, or a single lesson and select the lesson. The next four rules pertain to courses. You can protect all courses, a single course, or individual courses with specific categories or tags applied to them. You can add or edit the categories and tags in the course edit page. Now, before I move on to the last two options you see here, let me go over the access conditions section here. For any rule that you select, you'll select who has access to the content above if the logged in user matches the conditions you select here. Under type, you have four options, membership, member, role, and capability. You can grant access per membership level, per individual member, per site role, such as administrator, editor, and more, and site capabilities, such as being able to publish posts. Check out the WordPress website, link in the description, for more information on roles and capabilities. You can use this plus sign button to add more than one access condition. So as a quick example, I'll select a single page, select which page I want to protect, then select my gold membership. I'll click the plus sign button and choose member and enter the name of an individual member who doesn't have a gold membership, but who I want to give access to this page anyway. Adding a member here will give access to that member regardless of whether or not they meet the other criteria, like owning a membership you select. And that's it. When I click Save Rule, this will protect my page from anyone who doesn't have a gold membership or who isn't the individual member I selected. Now, let me talk about the last two rules under Protected Content, and that's Partial and Custom URI. Custom URI rules are used for protecting files or pages using a site URL. Custom URI rules are covered in detail in another video linked here, so check it out to see how to use this rule type. A partial content rule doesn't protect anything in and of itself by creating the rule, but instead you can create a partial content rule here and use the partial content codes to protect content. This is useful if you want to protect chunks of content on a page or post, like a paragraph or two, but don't want to protect the whole page or post itself. Partial content codes can protect paragraphs, images, and even widgets on a page from unauthorized members, but leave the whole page available to everyone. So I'm gonna select partial, select an access condition, and click the partial content codes link here. This will show a box with some short codes and a PHP snippet. These short codes here can be used to wrap content on a poster page like a paragraph, for example. This can be used on an unprotected poster page or on one that's already protected. This first short code will show the content wrapped inside if the user has one of the access conditions set up above. And the second short code will hide the content for users with the access conditions above. So just to quickly show you how this works, I'm gonna copy this first shortcode and save this rule with partial selected and my gold membership as my access condition. I'll go into edit on a page I have set up with a list of 10 tips on how to start a successful business. I want to protect my last five tips so anyone can see the entire page and the first five tips, but only my gold members will be able to see the rest. So I'll wrap my last five rules between the shortcode and click save. Now, when someone without a gold membership visits the page, they'll see my first five tips and then see my site's unauthorized message telling them that they need a gold membership to view the rest of the page. Now, I'm gonna go back into the member press, rules, and the partial rule I just set up. Below the two short codes we just went over, you'll see this PHP snippet. This PHP snippet is for advanced users who may want to protect some partial content inside of a WordPress template, theme file, or even widgets. Chances are though, if you don't know how to use this PHP snippet, you don't need to use it, as this feature is for more advanced use cases. Now I'll show you some of the other options available to you when setting up your rules. I'll go to MemberPress, Rules, and create a new rule. I'm gonna select a single page and choose a page. I'll set to give access to my silver membership and click the plus sign button to also give access to this page to my gold membership as well. The next section you see when creating or editing a rule is the drip expiration section. This allows you to drip or release content at a specified time in general, or at a specified time after a particular action, such as a member purchasing a membership associated with this rule, or a user registering for your site without necessarily purchasing a membership. Drip content is covered in much more detail in another video and in our knowledge base, so I won't be covering it too much in this video. Underneath Enable Drip, you can select Enable Expiration. 
For my example, this will expire my user's access to this page after a certain amount of time, like 30 days after my member registers for my site, for example. This will make my page inaccessible to my members regardless of what membership they have after 30 days. This feature can be useful for offering limited time content to your users. Below the drip expiration section is the unauthorized access section. This will let you override the default excerpt unauthorized message and login form for the content in this rule. So when someone tries to access my page who doesn't have a silver or gold membership, instead of being directed to the default messages MemberPress sets up for me, or that I set as default messages in my settings, it'll display whatever I set here instead. The first option you see here is for excerpts. This pertains to the amount of your content that's displayed before your unauthorized message, accessible to everyone, to help rank your page and site higher in search engine optimization, because if all the content on your page is completely hidden, your site is less likely to show up in search engines. It can also entice users to sign up because it gives them a preview of the quality of your content on this page. Here, you have five options. You could leave it set to default or choose to hide the excerpt altogether. The third option you see is more tag. This will show all the content above a read more tag inserted on your page or post and hide all the content below it to unauthorized users. If I go to my pages and click to edit my page, you'll see an option here to insert read more tag. So all the content below this tag will be hidden from unauthorized users with this rule if I set it up. The next option is post excerpt, which applies to whatever content you set on an edit page for your post. I'll go to a sample post of mine to show you what this looks like if I were to use this option. On your post edit page, if you click screen options and check excerpt, you'll see this area here where you can enter this excerpt to display with the rule. Now, going back to my rule, lastly, you can set this to custom and choose the number of characters you want to display as your excerpt. For example, the first 200 characters of this page. The next option you see is unauthorized message. You can leave it set to default, choose to hide it altogether, or select custom to override the default unauthorized message in your MemberPress settings. This can be useful to add more customization to your message. For example, sorry, you need a silver or gold membership to view this content. The last option you see is login form. Leaving it set to default uses whichever option you have set up in your MemberPress settings, or you can override these settings for just this page and choose to show or hide this login form. Selecting Show will display the login form under your unauthorized message, and selecting Hide won't display it on your page if someone doesn't have access to it. So now I'm going to click Save Rule, and I'll go back to Rules and see that my rule has been saved to protect my page. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like on my site. I'll go to my site in a new incognito window. I'll try to access the page I just set up my rule for, and see that I'm prompted with the unauthorized message I created, as well as the content above my more tag and the login form. Now I'll log in as a test user that has a gold membership and see that I have full access to the page. And there you go. You've now seen how to set up a rule in MemberPress and are now familiar with the many types of rules you have available to build your membership site. Visit our knowledge base for more detailed information on setting up rules and the many rule types MemberPress offers. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.